polarimetric determination of glucose levels in urine sample. Before performing an experiment, it is very important to get to know the basic principles of functioning of one polarimeter. So polarimeter is an instrument which possesses a lamp, which is actually a lamp which emits the wavelength of 589 nanometers, which is usually a sodium lamp that is used for polarimetry. This yellow light passes through a polarizer, a part of the polarimeter, which is going to transform the ray of monochromatic light and to turn it into the polarized light. Then we have the body of a polarimeter in which we are going to place the polarimetric tube, in which we are going to pour the optically active substance solution. Then we have an analyzer here, which is used to calculate and to measure the angle of rotation of the plane of polarized light. Here we have an ocular, and here we have a scale at which the angle is determined. Before we start with any uh, experimental procedures using the polarimeter, first we need to adjust it to zero. For that purpose, we need to use a solution of a non-optically active substance. Commonly used substance for such an adjustment is simple distilled water. In order to do that, first we need to open the polarimetric tube and notice that it has a small glass above it and pour some distilled water. First return the glass, but do it rather quickly to avoid making any bubbles in the polarimetric tube. And then close it correctly. Check one more time if there are any bubbles in it. Wipe it with a paper towel and place the polymetric tube into the instrument. Take a look and what should be noticed is a homogeneous yellow circle. That indicates that the angle of rotation is zero, which can be read on the scale. So take a look at the polarimeter and notice the homogeneous yellow field, indicating that the non-optically active substance is placed in a polarimetric tube. Now we have to check the angle, which should be zero, and take a look at the scale. If you cannot notice the scale properly, you may use the magnifying glasses on both sides of the polarimeter. Each scale has two parts, the inner part, which is a fixed part of the scale, and the outer part, which can be moved and changed by rotating the analyzer. If you take a look at the scale, the inner zero line perfectly leans to the outer zero line, which means that the angle of rotation is zero in this case. Next part of the experiment is to determine the specific angle of rotation for glucose solution. For that purpose, we are going to take a solution of glucose of the known concentration. Usually we use 0.2 grams per milliliter solution. And we are going to pour that solution to our polarimetric tube. Put the glass and close the polarimetric tube. Wipe it gently and place it in polarimeter. Close the polarimeter 
and take a look at it. Now, when the angle is zero degrees, you should notice the black line in the middle of the yellow circle. That black line indicates that the optically active substance is placed in polymetric tube and that it re rotated direction of plane of polarized light for a certain angle. So notice the black line in the middle of a yellow circle. Read the angle. The angle is zero degrees. Now slowly rotate the analyzer until the black line fades out and you see again the homogeneous yellow circle. So when we had adjusted again the homogeneous yellow circle, now we should read the angle. If we take a look at the scale, first we should follow the inner zero line. The position of the inner zero line is in this case between 20 and 21 degrees on the outer scale. That means that the degree of rotation is 20 degrees point something. The decimal place is determined by following the upcoming inner lines and you should try to find the inner line that perfectly lean on the outer line of the scale. In this case, this is the line of a number 8 from the inner side of the scale and that is going to be our first decimal place. So the angle of rotation is 20.8 degrees. Using the equation provided by the manual, calculate the specific angle of rotation. The third part of the experiment is determination of glucose levels in urine sample. For that purpose, we are going to take approximately 50 milliliters of urine and pour it in Erlenmeyer flask. In order to precipitate any possible su su suspended substances, we should add one or two small spoons of lead acetate. And mix the solution. In order to remove the color of the urine sample, which originates from bile pigments, predominantly urobilinogen, we should add one or two small spoons of medicinal carbo animalis. And mix it. Now we need to filtrate the solution to another Erlenmeyer flask using the funnel and filter paper.
when the filtration is completed, now we should pour the filter to our polymetric tube. With the glass avoiding making bubbles. Close the polymetric tube. Wipe it. And place it in polymeter. And notice what you see. When the angle is zero degrees, you should see again the black line in the middle of yellow circle indicating that certain amount of glucose is present in urine. Rotate the analyzer very slowly towards yourself until the black line fades out. So, when the black line fades out and again you see the homogeneous yellow circle read the angle of rotation and again repeat the procedure first follow the position of the zero inner line this time the position of this line is between four and five degrees of the outer scale which means that angle is four degrees something Now, follow the rest of the lines of the inner scale and find the line which leans the best with the line on the outer scale. This time, the line marked as number six line leans the best, which means that the angle is 4.6 degrees. Using the Biot's law equation, calculate the concentration of glucose in the sample of urine.